So here we are. Maybe okay. you can tell me your name and tell me what you, what's been happening the last two days. Uh, yes, so my name is Davin Charney. I'm the uh, lawyer for um, some of the parties that are being uh, taken to court by the uh, provincial government through the milk director mm -hmm. and uh, by the region of York. Uh -huh. um, there's uh, Michael uh, Schmidt and, and Elisa Vanderhout. Mm -hmm. They're self-represented. Right. And I represent uh, the other parties, including the agricultural room. Okay. Okay. And uh, what we tried to do in the last uh, couple of days is um, the, and it's really a, was a procedural uh, st step. The, um, the manner by which the region of York and the milk director have brought this litigation is through what's called an application. Mm -hmm. And it's an expedited procedure, a, a procedure that is intended to move quickly mm -hmm. to a final conclusion, mm -hmm. but without uh, many of the procedural safeguards that uh, you would find in a in a uh, full litigation, a full mm -hmm. court case, or mm -hmm. otherwise known as an action. Right. So right. they're proceeding by way of an application, right. which is a fast procedure. And we were asking the court to convert their, uh, their application to an action so that we would have more procedural rights and would be able to participate more fully uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the court proceedings mm -hmm. and, and also be able to uh, seek more records and more documents mm -hmm. right. uh, and ultimately have a judge hear the evidence in a public trial that would be transparent mm -hmm. where the media could uh, come and see what's taking place right. and where members of the public and other interested parties mm -hmm. could hear directly from the witnesses. Right. In the current procedure, the application, uh, the witnesses will testify in private, mm -hmm. and when we go to the final hearing, we'll introduce their evidence through transcripts. So they won't have to face the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the uh, arguments I made is that that is unfair. Mm -hmm. That's not in the public interest. No. What we wanted, uh, and just one example, is that uh, Glenn Jarvie, who is the lead investigator mm -hmm. against um, against the uh, ARC and, and Michael Schmidt and Lisa Vanderhout. Uh, he, this is a former Hamilton police officer who mm -hmm. is employed um, by uh, the provincial government, conducted a many months long investigation that included uh, covert surveillance, uh, secret photographing, videotaping of people, including uh, people at Glen Colton Farms. He secretly followed with those cameras. You mean with those cameras that were hidden in the ditch? That included uh, mm -hmm. putting uh, cameras uh, secretly uh, outside mm -hmm. of the farm to uh, mm -hmm. um, photograph traffic. Mm -hmm. It included secret uh, surveillance and following of vehicles that mm -hmm. uh, were believed to be carrying milk to various locations. It included running the license plates of uh, milk uh, consumers mm -hmm. to identify them. So there was a whole covert secret operation to um, surveil the Glen Colton farms, uh, which ultimately resulted in the raid on the farm in last October. Yes, of course, I filmed that too. Right, so what we wanted is for that person, rather than have that person testify uh, privately, we mm -hmm. wanted that person to be testif testifying on a stand in court for everybody to see yeah. the full scope exactly. of the investigation. Yeah. So the procedure that we were trying to get uh, would have much more transparency, which yeah. we argued was in the public interest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ultimately, it seemed based on um, comments from the judge as we went through our arguments um, that uh, and it's hard to predict how these things will end, but we determined that um, uh, at this point we would abandon that our argument mm -hmm. and we would proceed with the, the uh, litigation the way that the government is bringing it and uh, we can come back to our 
argument at a, at a later date when mm -hmm. we perhaps have uh, more uh, substance to back up our argument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, at, the f and at the end, we uh, withdrew the motion, mm -hmm. and uh, that's uh, basically that's how the, the day ended. Uh, also um, of interest is that uh, uh, Lewis Taylor, Skip Taylor, mm -hmm. uh, has uh, uh, sought to be accepted by the court as a representative of mm -hmm. our, our mm -hmm. farm, our food, right? And uh, he was um, uh, uh, accepted by the court. Mm -hmm. And even though the region of York and the the Crown, through the milk director, argued against him being accepted as the um, the representative mm -hmm. of uh, OFOF, mm -hmm. um, the judge ultimately decided that uh, he can do the job. Can and you just say that uh, what OF, OF is for? Our farm, our food. So that's oh, okay. the milk that's uh, consumer cooperative. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So, so, so now they have intervened uh -huh. and they are now have representation. Uh -huh. And so they'll be a part of the litigation well, as, as it goes forward. Uh -huh. Right. So the consumers will have a voice oh, good. in all of this, yes. Okay. So, so what happened to Peel and um, uh, was it? Uh, Simcoe, uh, Muskoka, Simcoe, I think. They've also been added as parties. So, so there was no argument against that. No, no. So in other words, uh, uh, Michael doesn't mind that, and and uh, the OFOF doesn't mind, and Art that's doesn't right. mind. That's okay. right. Okay. Okay. That's right. So that's okay. So wow, thank you very, very much for these five minutes because people need to know. Okay, you're welcome. So, thanks so much. Okay.